So you want to make a great presentation. You have this great image, but your words just aren't showing up the way you want them to. I'm going to show you a little trick on how to make them stand out. So the first thing you need to do is you want to put um, a, a box behind it. And that box can be found here on the toolbar, underneath the circle and the square, under the shapes. And I'm just going to go straight, um, hover over shapes, and you can see what the arrow shows up. This will pop up. Now sometimes if you pop off it, that will close out. Just kind of hover over, slide straight over, and then select the rectangle. Now when I select the rectangle, I'm going to cover the words exactly. You can always change the size later. You're going to have to play with this. Take some experimenting. So I'm holding down, I'm clicking and dragging at the same time in order for that shape to get it just how I want it to be. If you don't like it, you can just delete. When you see these blue um, squares around it, that means it's in editing mode. I can change the size. This changes it all together. Um, or <clears throat> I can make it more narrow. I can also spin it by using this piece here. But I don't want to spin it. But you're probably saying, well, that doesn't help. I can't even see the words now. So the next thing you want to do is you come up to the fill color. And I want you to change this to, you know, any shade of gray or white. I'm going to try it white first and see what it looks like. Then I want to arrange it. I want to put my words to the front. So I'm going to go to Arrange and Order and um, send it back. And there my words show up. So I could see, is that the right size I want? Do I want a little bit more white around it? Give it a little more space? Um, maybe not. I don't know, because I really don't want to take away from this great image. But now, because I've done that, it's kind of blocked what I loved about this image. I love the prairie grasses. I love the animal's body. It's in great focus. I love how the background is out of focus. And so I want to change this a little bit. Now, if I click on the words, I could tell this box is a different shape. This blue box is for the text. Now I'm going to try to get just the box for that white box I just put on there. Now see how it fits just around the white box? That's the correct one. And when I go to the fill color, I'm going to come back to fill color right now. I had selected white. I'm going to go down to custom. So if you select custom, there's this great tool right here. The slider bar here is a transparency bar. And if I slide this down, it makes it transparent. Now you're going to have to experiment because I might make it too transparent. But I want my words to stand out. Let's see what it looks like. Ooh. Okay, let's see. How does that look? Does that help? Let's try it again. Noise. Oops. See, now I have the text box instead of the words, uh, instead of the other box. So I have to try it again. Oh, keep getting it. There it is. Okay. Ugh. <laughs> this happens. you got to be careful. You're selecting only the correct box. I'm going to go to the fill color. Custom. I'm going to slide it up just a little bit. What do you think? Now I can see the words a lot better, but I still can see the image behind it. You can experiment with changing the color of the words, but or making them bold. Uh, let's see what that does. If that changes it. Now it makes it larger, so you might have to change the size a little bit. Or the spacing. You kind of get the point here, though. Let's see. Let me, if I take this apart, it's a little bit darker. I need to fix this um, box, though, to fit, don't I? So then I would make this box fit a little bit better, like this. And there you have it. You have the integrity of the great picture behind it, but your words stand out a lot better. So I hope that helps, and keep creating great things. I'm so impressed with your work.